Hey, welcome back. Lottie animations are massive, aren't they? If you're into web building or designing, you will have seen in the last, you know, few years how they're popping up all over the place in designs, websites, and I don't just mean animations, but you know the images, you know those lovely 3D style images. They're all over the place. Be careful of repetitiveness because they do start to look a bit too similar, but there's loads of places you can get a Lottie file, okay? You know, there's Lottie files, there's Lottie.com, there's loads of places. But what if you want to create a completely unique Lottie and you want to do it in a way where you get to control to an extent what you can do, okay, and you can get it onto Elementor on your WordPress website for free. I'm going to show you how to do that. By the way, I'm Imran Sadiq, Web Squad, and I hope you like, sub, 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 subscribe, share, and follow because we love having you. Okay, now the way I'm going to get the image um, onto here is, um, well, let me explain again. Let me backtrack. Lottie animations can be very varied in what they do, okay? Some can be really light, fantastical in terms of animation, and some can be quite simple. Okay, you could say that's a pretty simple one. That's a little bit more, you know, there's a bit more movement going on, or you have people that are moving. Now, all of these things, you can, to get to that level, you're going to have to use Adobe Effects, and there's other bits of software and things out, then you might have to work with a designer on doing that. It takes a bit of coding. I want to show you how you can do something quite simple, okay? And you you can use your imagination in how you do this as well. I'm using Canva. Stay with me on this, okay? We are going to get this to be a lottie. Stay with me. So all I've done is added in three elements onto a Canva sheet, okay? You could use other um, um, software as well, as long as it allows you to add a form of animation, okay? And you can export this as an MP4 file. You can export it as an animated GIF and then convert it to an MP4, but sometimes the quality isn't as sharp or as good as using an MP4 file. And stay with me on this, okay? We're not uploading a video. We are gonna create a Lottie file, I promise you. This is just three elements, okay? We've got a bit of ink, we've got a paintbrush. I've just shaded them to be the color I want. This text is the Persita, Persita font, I think it is. And what I've added onto this is I've added in a bounce animation. That's the great thing about Canva. It allows you to add in animation. Sorry, I don't want bounce. Sorry, yeah, there you go, bounce. There you go. So all of the items bounce in, okay? So that's applied it to the page and it's applied it to the pencil as well. Now for this bit here, this bit of ink, again, I just got this over here by typing in paint splat, adding it over and giving it a yellow color. I'm going to put it, I, I'm not overly worried about the placement of all of this, okay? I'm just showing you um, how to create a Lottie file here. Um, now this one here, <clears throat> I've given it an animation of breathe. If I was to give to fade, it would fade in. If I did tumble, it would tumble in. If I do breathe, it kind of just breathes in like that, okay? So there's lots of different effects. You are limited as to a lot of effects you're going to get, but... There are there are quite a few that you get for free. I've got the Canva Pro account, so I can access a lot more. But you're not going to have... It's not like um, PowerPoint or something like that, where you could start to tinker with all the animations. There is a bit of a limitation, but it is still as good as it's going to get. So I'm just going to play this, okay? And originally, this was um, about four seconds long. So it plays it, and then it just stops. And you get about three seconds of just nothing happening. <clears throat> when you play the video, okay, in Canva, you can click on, say, you can click on the page or out of the page and you get a timer here. And this is where I've set the timer to be one and a half seconds because I found that one and a half seconds was more than enough. Please stay with me on this, okay? This is going to get really interesting, right? So one and a half seconds, okay? If you want to adjust it and make it longer, you can. I've just set it to be one and a half, like that. Oops, I put it on two and a half then, didn't I? Let's do one and a half. There we go. Right, that's one and a half seconds. You then download that as an MP4 file. You can download it as an image, as a GIF, or whatever you want, but I say download it as an MP4. Now, once it's downloaded, okay, we are then going to take it to another website, and I will put the link for that in the description, and we are going to convert that into a Lottie file. So let's now go to that website. So this is isotropic.com. Um... They do some wonderful, wonderful stuff, um, and here they have a video to Lottie converter. I am not going to change any of these settings. I might actually change this Lottie, uh, I might change this JPEG quality to be one, just to maintain the quality of everything we got. I'm not going to do anything else here, and I'm just going to choose my file, 
And there it is. There's the MP4 file I just converted. It's only about 113 kilobytes, to be honest. It's, it's tiny as a video, one and a half seconds. And I'm now going to encode this. And that's now encoded. You might think, has it actually done it? No, it's done it. And now I'm going to download it. That is now 250 kilobytes. It's a quarter megabyte. It is now bigger than the original video. So you might go and think, well, maybe I'll just use the video. Believe me, you want to use the Lottie, okay? We've now downloaded that JOSN. Let's now go over to our website. If you try and add that JOSN to your media library, it ain't going to work, okay? I know there are plugins and stuff you can do, but if you try and add it to media library, WordPress is going to say, no, not allowed. It's not going to let you do it. But you don't need to do that anyway. What you could do is just type in Lottie, because the widget is there, if you've got Elemental Pro. You then drop this in, and what it's now going to do is give you like a Lottie animation. But that's a more fancier one. And that's where if you want to be really creative with creating stuff, you're going to have to learn a whole lot more skills, Adobe and vectors and pen drawings and stuff like that. And it can be done, but that's not what we're about here in Web Squad. And I'm just showing you how you could create something. And I am going to do some further videos at some point where I do a bit more creativity in what I create. And we'll go through those uh, in future videos. Right, so we've added this in here. We're now going to go over here. And we are going to pick, we're not going to link to an external URL. If you want to save that JSON that we just created and you want to stick it on a Google Drive, fine. Go away and do that. But I'm just going to do a media file. So I'm going to have it preloaded on here. Why? Because what if the URL for where it's pointing to um, deletes? They remove that file or they rename the file or they change location or your connection breaks. Well, your JSON Lottie isn't going to work now. So have a think about that. This is where you can upload it, okay? So even though you can't add it to the media library, you can do it here. So I'm now gonna go to Upload Files, and I'm gonna select my JSON. And that is now in. There you go, 250 kilobytes. Look, it's now appearing. Now, what you will notice though is that it's not as smooth. There's a bit of a juttering effect going. Did you notice that? I'm gonna go over to Style, where there's nothing for you to do. The only, this is only where you now need to mess around with the size of how big this is going to be. So I'm just going to set this to be, uh, we'll go with 300, okay? We'll just go with 300, just so, so I'm just showing you how you can modify the size of it, okay? Um, I, you, I mean, I would probably say you don't really want to start messing around with the CSS filters here, because uh, the, one, the one bad thing about Canva, and I should have mentioned this at the beginning, and I have raised this with them, is that I can't have a transparent background on the video. If you had exported individual images, so if I go back over here, right, I could have um, turned this into a GIF, okay, or I could have done a, I could have imitated loads of images and had like bits of animation happening at certain points in time. And I could have gone over here and then I could have removed the background. However, sorry, um, save it as a, let me get this right. You could save it as a PNG with a transparent background. But that's a limitation of Canva, no transparent background. So, but if the background for your Lottie was going to be black, we'll just make sure the background for this is black as well then. That's a rubbish example, isn't it? Or red or whatever colour you want to go for. All right, so just make it match so it, it just kind of blends in. Right, back over here. We've, we've got our animation, but it just loads up once. It's a bit juttery. That's because if you go to the settings, the speed of it is not brilliant. So I'm going to increase this to be about 5. Okay, and I'm just going to hit update. And I'm just going to refresh the page just to see how that looks now. Okay. Right. If I now go to settings, okay, and I now um, go to loop, this is now going to loop it because it only plays it once. That's now way too quick, the number five. So let's drop it down to about 1.35 if you want so you can get it very, very specific. I'm not going to mess around with the start or end point. You could do if you want. And this is where this is better than just putting in the video because I can start to mess around with the start and end point. Now, here's the really good thing. What if I want to do a reverse? So look, that is a lot more nice and easier on the eye than where it was just looping. Start to finish, start to finish. Now it's start, finish, back to start. So it's looping in that kind of effect. And I think that is so much better. And you can decide if you want a lazy load. But here is the thing that I think is really, really cool. 
At the moment, the trigger for this is viewpoint. That means this will start playing when you come into view. So if this is now further down the page, in the middle of your page, when you come down, that's when it will first play. Okay, so you might have it play once. So it might be a really long lottie, which might be like 20 seconds long, but you don't want it to play until someone gets to it. And once it's played, that's it, it stops. Okay, that's something you could do. But here's what I like. If I go to click, right? Look at it, nothing. If I now click, it plays. What about if I do hover? Watch this, nothing, right? Look, I'm moving my mouse, nothing. What if I hover directly over it? Ah, look at that, it's now playing. When I, move, I mean, obviously it's going to continue playing. It won't just not play. That's one of the annoying things about it. And you could have none as well. So it just plays automatically like that. And I like to think, I'm just going to leave this as a viewpoint for now. I'm going to uh, update it, go to preview, and you can basically see what it's doing there. Okay, and that is a free way to kind of create a Lottie animation or do something, you know, they, um, don't forget Canva does come some with animations already. If I go to elements and I just type in a circle, for instance, and I pick the animated button, apply filters, look, you know, there's um, there, there's loads of different animations and things you could add in. Um, so you could have a Lottie effect firing off and it's not just circle. There's loads of stuff you could do. But it's a dead quick and easy way, I think, of adding something into your web page. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow and learn something different on how to do it for free. You take care and I'll see you soon.